hi guys welcome back to my channel okay so today I've got another little project for you um, I like these quick easy projects um, because they're um, nice little additions to your journals um, and you've got something that's quick and easy to make so this is just like a little concertina booklet um, which is just made out of one sheet of my digital papers and the papers I've used today are from the Chevy Chic French collection and I've actually printed on both sides um, so that's just so I don't have to use two pieces of paper and I've printed on 160 gram paper I don't know what that is in pounds um, but it's a thicker thicker paper um, so this is the little booklet so I've just got a little bit of velvet ribbon to hold it together um, and it, when you open it up, you can see it from the top, easy to see. It just folds in three like that. So we've got the papers in each little fold. So that's a really nice, quick, easy little one to make. Um, so it comes out like that. So you've got a little booklet either side and then one in the middle on the back like that. And then on the back piece, I've actually held the piece of ribbon this actually goes through like that so I've just held it on with a little one of the little hearts and that's out of one of the other kits I'll pop all the kits that I've used um, in the description below anyway um, and also I've got one of my little flowers on there so I've got video on those as well um, so if I've just added that onto there so we don't lose the piece of um, ribbon that you tie it with and then I've got one of my little flowers on the front so so quite quick it's quite a nice little one so it's a um, so if you've got sort of like even leftover pieces now I've cut this just in half so obviously you've got your little edges off there I've just taken the little edges off the little white bits like this so this is the free one so you can do it with a free <coughs> digital print as well so I've just cut around the edges cut all the white pieces off again I've just printed on both sides okay and then what you need to do for the actual little pages here i've used three pieces of a 40 stain paper right, let me just get a piece out like this now what i've done i've actually cut them down um, to fit into the little booklets and i've pre-made them here so we've got three and each one is one sheet of the paper um, so you want it 11 inches across and um, by seven and five eighths down okay so that's how how big you want the paper and um, so just cut a tiny little bit off each side um, and then what i've done i've just torn it into four so you fold it in half so pretend this is all cut down fold it in half like that um, tear it down and fold it in a quarter so you just fold it in the quarters like that and then what you do you just fold that in half so that's the size of the little um so can you see it's just a tiny bit smaller than that so then you get four pages out of each one so that that makes you've got three little um, booklets there okay so this is quite easy and then i've got some just little bits i'm not quite sure what to put on the front so this one's i've got the little flower and that one's just the heart on the back just to hold the um, ribbon in place so I've got a few of those little bits and then one of my little word and phrase um, little tags there and some little flowers oh and this is the piece of ribbon that I'm going to put on it so I've got all that ready to to go so what we need to do first is fold this in half so what we're going to do we're going to fold it this way like that so again sorry one here i've actually sewn all around it like i said before first but you don't have to so i just like this finish on it um but again you don't have to sew it if you don't if you don't have a sewing machine don't don't sew it so what i've done i've just folded that in half now we need to go this way don't we so we need to fold it this way because this is the inside and then each one we want to fold backwards like that so this is what we want on the outside and then again this way like that okay so we've got the concertina like this okay so that's just folded in half 
so the outside is on the inside so fold it that way and then each side backwards so you've got a W okay so that's going to be the front so we need to open it up like that now to put on this one I haven't sewn in the signatures the little signatures I've actually stuck them in with some paper I've sewn the paper down here so I've just sewn it to this little piece here and then stuck them in because I didn't want any um, sew marks sew marks any stitches down the, down the um, sides so I've just stuck it in so I'm going to show you how I've done that so let's just now we folded that I'll pop that to the side and then we've got our three little booklets now I've got a piece of coffee stain paper here um, and what I've done this is just a tiny bit smaller in length than that so let me just measure it so that is just over three and a half inches and these are just under four inches okay so what I'm going to do I'm just going to fold it in just a tiny tiny bit like that not too much and that's just to fit on this edge here and then what you can do you just cut it down like that okay and that is what's going to slip onto there just to hold it in okay so we want three of those so just fold it in it's easier to fold it in first than to cut them and fold them because they go a bit wibbly wobbly so i found it easier this way to do it so just like that just sort of like half an inch so each one each one of these is probably about an inch wide let's have a look yes just about an inch wide So I have sewn these to here like that so what I've done I've popped that on the outside like that and then oops I've gone through the middle and I've sewn on the sewing machine so this is attached to the back just through this line here okay so I'm gonna do that on all of them but first of all I want to um, just ink the inside of this because um, that's the piece you're gonna see just get a little bit of ink just a tiny bit on here like that there we go I know you that um, I'm not quite sure what it's called but you do this with a fabric so um, you attach the fabric to bigger journals they do that and then they attach the fabric on here like the same sort of thing um, and then attach the fabric to the journals like that I've never made one like that but I thought what I'm going to do I'm just going to do them like this so we don't have to sew you can if you don't have a sewing machine you can hand stitch it okay so you can just do um, the little pamphlet stitch which is the three little holes there and sew it in and you can have this on the middle and then stick it in but what I'm going to do I'm just going to put to stitch them each one down on the sewing machine quick so I shall be back okay so there we go I've just sewn those to the back so let's just cut these little pieces off like this oopsie daisy just to tidy them up a little bit you can see look here got like a little wing and that's the piece that you stick to the um, inside of your little concertina book okay there we go let's get rid of those bits of cotton okay so we have three of those like that and that's why you ink the inside bit because that's the piece that you're going to see okay so let's just fold them up I haven't done that very neatly have I but never mind and this one here like that okay so here's our little booklet 
So the first one, we just stick in like that. Okay, so I'm going to use my three in one because that's a quick, it sticks well. This one I actually used, I stuck it in with some uh, glue stick. So that's stuck in really well. So I thought I'd just use some three in one, be easier. I won't get so sticky then. So we'll just pop a little bit of this on. And that just, let's open this out. You want to just stick it down the middle of there. So make sure you're in the little dip like that. And stick that down. So that's down either side. Oops, there we go. So that's stuck on either side. And then we'll do this one here. Stick this down and get the glue out. There we go. Oops, Daisy. So then this just goes in the middle there. So we're in the middle. Perfect. So then we've got two little booklets in there. Like that. And then we just need to do this one on this side. Which is here. So these are lovely to make. So all these little bits that I'm showing you at the moment they're just nice quick easy easy um, little makes so um, I'm trying to make some bits and pieces up so when um, I can send stuff in the post again I've got lots of lovely little um, gifts to send off because obviously I haven't done that and I said I was going to do it to people that watch my videos and now I've got the new group I want to send some little bits and pieces out to people so all of these little bits are going to add up. So I'm going to have a nice little stash of bits to send you all. Um, well, I'd love to send all of you stuff, but I think I'll be here for a long time making stuff. But there we go. Okay, so there we go, guys. So you can see that, can't you? So we've got little concertinas in there, little booklets in each little flap. So which has gone down really well. Okay, so let's decorate the front of it. So I've got my little bits here. So what I want to do, I want to make sure we I'm going to pop that on there, but we don't want that being in the way, do we? So I'm going to that will stick like that. I think we'll have a green one on this one. So I'm going to stick this one on the front like that, and then what we want to do with the back, I'm going to have should we have the little bird? Now I'm going to pop this one on here. I think I'll pop that one on there with a the flower. So what I want to do, I don't want to glue the whole thing down. I just want to glue the top and the bottom. Because I want to put this through it like that. Just so you don't lose your um, piece of lace or if you're using ribbon. Um, so when you undo it, it doesn't disappear. So what I'm going to do is just lie it down like that. I'm going to take some glue and then just add a little bit to the top and the bottom just so you've got a nice gap in the middle like that oops and then just stick that on top make sure that's in the middle like that and just hold that one down just so it sticks Perfect. And then that just slides through and it holds it on there nicely. Right, I'm going to pop the little the, the big flower on there, not the little, the big one. I think I might add a little bit of the cheesecloth because I think it makes it look all pretty. I'm just going to cut a little piece off. I must do something with these scissors because they're really not very sharp at all. They could do with a good clean wrinkle it up a little bit. There we go. Pop a 
just a bit of glue on there. And I'll put that on there and just wonkle it up. And then this piece can just sit on top. Pull it down a bit. There we go. Use whatever glue you want to use, but this is quite quick and easy to to use when I'm making videos as well. And it sticks quite quickly. So there we go. So that's the back. So the back looks pretty, doesn't it? And then that's just going to hold in that lovely piece of ribbon. And then on the front, what was I going to put? I was going to pop that, wasn't I? So then I'm going to pop that on the back, on the front. So we can glue this down like that. So that can be glued on top. Then we're going to have another little bit of the cheesecloth just to pop under the little flower. Really need to get some more different scissors, don't I? I don't know what I've done with my big ones. I've got two somewhere. Pop them down somewhere and they've got lost under a pile of something, I'm sure. So I could do with a good clean up. So there we go. So I'm going to pop that on there. Come on, glue. There we go. So this can just I want to hide those little tulips, do we? So that can sit there. And what was I going to do? Pop the little green one on there. Blob. So that can just sit on there like that. Put a glue on there. And then what we can do, we just do this up into a nice little bow. And then we have our little booklet. So that looks really pretty. Nice little bow and a nice little gift. Oh, look at my glue ooping out. I'll clean that up in a minute. So then we've got another little booklet and then we've got that one on the back. So it looks really pretty. Yeah, so there we go guys. And so now we have two. So these will be sent to one of you. And two of you at some point. So I'm going to do this one up little bow little shabby pink one and then we've got a little green one oops not very good bow was it but still so there we go so i think they look really nice very quick nice simple little project and it's a little concertina book all right guys well i hope you enjoyed that please do give it a go and please if you do post it on my facebook group because you are coming up with some fantastic stuff and I absolutely love looking at it. Um, so I hope you're all safe and well. So you take care of yourselves and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys, take care. Bye bye.